see that? That's a road. Those are mountains. Zoom out. Oh, God, I remember. Mayvarvad, which I've discovered means I am sick. And I have been sick for weeks now. Not super thrilled about it, <clears throat> being sick all the time. I think it's a combination of Georgian food and uh, lack of heating in the house and, yeah, malnutrition and living in a refrigerator. You get you sick pretty quickly. <sighs> so right now I'm heading into town, walking my ass into town so I can get some medicine. And this is a, uh, this is a stereotypical Georgian road. Just mud full of puddles. Trying to, f uh, do I want to fake enthusiasm? Not really. Don't want to fake enthusiasm at all. I just felt like talking. I think these are like my weekly English practice. There's one person in this village who speaks English pretty well. And, uh, me and him get to talk about it once a week, so. I need more English practice than that. What's up with you, world? Things move pretty slowly in this town. I almost died. Went to the hospital. I think I told you all that. This is only about a, a week later. All the snow that was on the ground is gone. Which is nice. The snow came early. And then it turned to slush. Slush is way worse than slow. Snow. the Snow. BTW. I love snow. But slush is just evil. Slush hates people. And people hate slush. And I've, I've gone native. I have started to wear galoshes everywhere because of the mud and the cow shit. And I walk around in my pajamas all the time. Because jeans take too long to dry on a line. So here's to living like a hobo. There's no microwave. There's not even an oven. There's a gas-powered stove that ran out of gas this morning. There is no heat in my room, so I'm cold constantly. Who builds a house with no heating, really? I mean, tribal people have more sense than that. How can people live out here with no heating? That's crazy. That's not crazy, that's dumb. Or whatever, it's their lives. <sighs> I wouldn't do it, hells no. And they're huge houses too, like two stories and like four rooms. But they're all cold and drafty. Sad looking. Look at look at this thing. This is what stereotypical house looks like. Mean, mean and unhappy house. I'd say that uh, throwing up all the time and not getting any decent food and being cold has definitely not left me in the best of moods. I think what I really just need to do is get on top of my health, I'm trying to coordinate with. Uh, TLG to get me into another location. You know, maybe one with uh, a fireplace at least, or a fire pit, or even an electric heater, something. And, uh, you know, a house where people eat three meals a day. Yesterday, nobody ate at my house. They didn't eat breakfast, they didn't eat lunch, they didn't even eat dinner. They woke up, they went the whole day, and they didn't eat anything, and they went to bed. Where I come from, I would call that going hungry. Just me. Not eating at all. It's ridiculous. How do these people do it? And they're all fat. I've never seen a person. Yeah, I have not seen a person over 30 in this village who is not slightly obese. How do they do that? I've lost 15 pounds since I got here. True story. Well, this is a big whiny entry. This is just me whining and complaining like a bitch. Hmm. I've noticed I, I miss bananas. I'll tell you that much. I miss bananas. Bananas give you potassium. So does spinach. I could I'd go for some spinach. Fuck. I'd go for any kind of superfood. I miss kale. Oh, the things I would do for kale right now. Kale is so good. Well, it's not good. I mean, it tastes like ass, but it's good for you. And you feel great after you eat it. So I'm down for that. It's just... The food that they eat here is so bad. They just eat bread and meat. And that meat has usually been left out on the stove for a few days. 
apparently they don't understand the concept of food spoilage and refrigeration. Whatever. It's pretty. This is a nice walk. It's slow going. So I just swing in one foot in front of the other. <sighs> going to town to try and get me some medicine. Put some money on my phone. And I'm going to go home and call up some people and see if I can't find something to do for the weekend. I've been doing a lot of writing. <sighs> writing has been sort of my release. I'm becoming very, uh, very artistic in the absence of human interaction. It's kind of nice. I have to say. I haven't been artistic in a long time. So I'm starting to draw again. It's amazing. I haven't drawn in years. I picked it up just the other day. I was like, oh, I'm doodling on paper. It turned out great. I was like, damn, I'm so talented. My head is getting bigger. <laughs> well, that was my walk and ramble. I think I'm going to do more of these. Just to practice talking. Just talk. If y'all get bored, feel free to tune me out. That's what I do here when people talk to me. They're like, blah, 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 something in Georgian. I'm like, blah, 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 whatever you said, I'm ignoring you. I don't understand a word you're saying. Although I have learned the language pretty quickly. Which is kind of weird. I'm not even, I'm not even trying. I'm just like, oh, this language sounds... It sounds horrible. It's full of throat-clearing sounds. Like... <laughs> I don't know how these people can talk and still have a voice box after five years. But talk they do, with all their guttural sounds. And like I said, I picked it up a little faster than I was intending. So imagine how quickly I could... I've only been here like three months. Not even not even that long. Two months. Maybe, maybe a month and a half. How long have I been here? Shit. Super looking forward to going to Thailand this winter. Get some warm weather and... Food. Food is cheap in Thailand, so I hear, so. I'm just gonna be a big fat piggy. This is a pretty little stream. Isn't it cute? Kinda makes me wanna go down there and drink it. I know it would probably give me influenza or something. Alright, in a minute. I think that's about all I wanted to say. Mmm, sun feels good. I should go sun tanning. That'd be cold. But it'd feel good. Peace out.